Uh, firstly, I just want to say, how do we put a round of applause together for the Canadian Taxpayers Federation for everyone? <laughs> Twenty more seconds calling because I got a lot to say. As you guys know, my name is James Batham. I'm the leader of the Green Party matchup, and we're committed to running a full slate of 57 candidates in the next provincial election. And I'll tell you why. You take a look at these three guys. They're having a debate over where we need to run a transmission corridor, but you know what? We don't need the transmission corridor in the first place. The Green Party position is very clear. Until we fully explore the opportunities that we have through energy conservation, we don't need to build any more mega hydroelectric projects. It's that simple. You know, we want to talk about how this benefits Manitoba, but, you know, it doesn't deliver as many jobs as we think. It's quite simple. The companies that are coming out there, they're from Quebec. Because the technology to bid on a multi-billion dollar hydro project means that you have to have a lot of specialized technology. What would conservation mean? Conservation would mean working on the building stock here in Manitoba and saving energy, not just electricity, but heat as well, which, of course, is natural gas. What does that mean? Every day Joe or Jim can bid on a construction job of renovating someone's house when you compare it to a billion dollar hydroelectric project. I think when we talk about Bipole 3, we have to understand it's connected to the idea of building Kias and Kahnawapa, which are more expensive each on their own than Bipole 3, even using the highest number you want for it. So we're looking at 15 to 25 billion dollars in further hydro development we haven't even considered how much we could save. As the saying goes, penny saved is a penny earned. Well, you know what? A kilowatt saved is a kilowatt earned. And I'll tell you why it's cheapest for us to save energy. The dams that we built 60, 70 years ago, and I think I should add, they had a lot of ecological damage, and we shouldn't forget that. But the dams we built 20, 30 years ago were costing us about two cents a kilowatt hour to deliver electricity to the grid. It's about a third of the price of what we pay here in Manitoba. What Squatum, in contrast, is costing us about 10 cents a kilowatt hour to deliver to the grid. You know what we're selling to the states for? two to maybe six cents a kilowatt hour. We're selling it at half the price it's costing us to produce it, and you know, we're paying seven cents here in Manitoba. So you can see that going into the future, it's not gonna be a profitable project for a while to go. So why is it that the ratepayers and the taxpayers of Manitoba, using the credit of the province of Manitoba, are putting their money forward for the benefit of Minnesota and Wisconsin? It doesn't make sense to me. I don't know if it makes sense to any of you guys, and I think before we add to that, we want to talk about energy security or energy reliability. I think it should be noted this province made a promise of 1,000 megawatts of wind energy in 2004. They've got to 237 watts, and they said they'd be at 1,000 by 2014. They basically outright admitted they're not going to deliver it. And you know what? That's private companies would be enticed to come here in Manitoba that put together proposals, that did the consultations under the Environment Act that work with the farmers that have the land deals in place and we're not building them because Manitoba Hyper won't write a power purchase agreement. In fact, our latest export contract deals with Sequoia Energy who built wind farms in North Dakota after they cited they did the environmental study for wind farms here in the southern portion of the province. So in short, we want to talk sustainable jobs. We want to talk driving Manitoba's economy forward. Well, it means let's be conservative in the true sense of the word. I mean small c conservative. Let's conserve energy because that's going to put money in the back in the pockets of Manitobans. It's also going to ensure that we have more energy for our use here in Manitoba, or for export if we see that that's the right choice to do. It's going to ensure that the capital value of the housing that we own here in Manitoba is going to increase in value, which means the municipalities will have more revenue. And if we develop wind farms, there's another added advantage to add to energy security. And guess what? We're to the southern portion of the province where energy is by and large consumed here in Manitoba, and much closer to the export markets. So as I We've given a handout. I'll be uh, sitting around drinking beer. I hope the Taxpayers Federation got local beer. But uh, I'll be more than happy to uh, chat about some of the ideas we put on our handout here. And I really appreciate everyone's time. Thank you.